Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Will. This is the Wimmy YouTube channel. So today we're actually not going to be talking about any of the vehicles. We're actually going to be talking about the garage flooring that uh, I have laid down in here. So it's been a year since I laid down this flooring and uh, believe it or not, for the past few months, this has been like my number one trending video. Um, I'm gonna put that up to um, the fact that it's probably summertime now and a lot of people are at home trying to do like DIY projects, you know, home improvement stuff, kind of like that. So yeah, um, this is the Armstrong vinyl peel and stick flooring that I've laid down in my garage. I'll put a video, uh, link like right up here to the video where I actually uh, installed this flooring. But I've gotten so many questions and comments regarding this, so I figured I'm just gonna make a dedicated video just kind of talking about it and highlighting it and showing you guys firsthand how well this thing has really held up over the past year. So guys, like I was mentioning, this is the vinyl peel and stick tile that is manufactured by Armstrong. I'll go ahead and I'll throw a link up here to the actual product. Um, I actually purchased this from Home Depot. Um, a lot of times they do keep this in stock, but you know, they might not have, you know, the amount of boxes that you'll need to do, you know, whatever space you want to do. So you could go ahead and order this online. They'll uh, deliver it directly to your house. Or if you want to save a little bit of money on shipping, because this does get pretty heavy if you're uh, ordering multiple boxes, order it online and then have it shipped to a local store where you could just go and pick it up yourself. That way you save on tax and you save on shipping. Um, you know, that's what I would recommend and that's actually what I did here. So these tiles um, are a 12 by 12. If you don't know what that means, that's the dimension 12 inch long, 12 inch wide. So there you have it right there. And these tiles have been laid down in my garage for the past year. Now this isn't the first time I've actually used this product. I've used this product in three other garages. Um, and I've gotten a lot of people saying like, you know, what are you doing? You can't put that in a garage. Um, it's gonna peel, it's gonna lift, it's gonna break. No, it's not. I've had this exact same product installed in my other garage for going on four years now. If you've been around on the channel for a while, you would have seen in um, my last house, I had this exact flooring down and that flooring was down for at least a year and a half before I even started filming videos and that was two years ago. So. About four years, it's still perfectly fine. And this one, it's been down for a year and it's still perfectly fine. You can see in here, it's still a little wet. I just need to clean it. And this is mainly the biggest, um, I would say, it's not even an issue. It's just something that needs to be addressed. Um, if you do pull vehicles in here, you can see like there's, you know, right there from the AC that I had my work van running in here. Uh, it just gets a little messy, but simple. You can bring a garden hose in here Hose it down, just get a brush, sweep it out, use a leaf blower, and you're good to go. A lot of people were saying, oh, you can't pull um, a vehicle in here with hot tires, it's gonna lift up the tiles. Nope, I do it every single day. I drive my work van um, at least 200 miles a day, and I pull it straight into the garage when I get home. And you can see all along, all along right here, even at the very lip, where if there was gonna be any issues, it would be right here because that's where the tire's rolling up. You can see it's all laid down perfectly. You can see right here, you get a little bit of damage, but that's totally to be expected because that's where the tire's going up. Now, if you don't take your time and you install this incorrectly, then yeah, you might have some lift and shit like that, but if you take your time and you lay this the correct way, you're not gonna run into any issues. Again, here's that video, installation video of laying down this exact flooring. If you wanna do it, go check that video out. So I actually have some of the tiles here, some of the product. Obviously you can see, this is the gloss white. And we come down here, you can see exactly what I ordered. Like I was saying, 12 inches. It covers 45 square feet per box. There's the SKU number right there. Now these are for the gloss white. You come over here, now we got the gloss black. So right there. Same exact thing, 12 by 12, 20, uh, 45 square feet. There's the SKU number. So these are sold separately. So if you wanna do the black and white pattern, you're gonna to need to order equal parts black and white. Uh, just think about that, they're not sold together. This is not a kit. You can make this however you want. If you wanted to do other colors, you could totally do that. Um, I think they offer like red and I think gray as well. I just went black and white because it's what I wanted to do. But 
Uh, if you have no idea how to measure, you know, how much, you know, product you're gonna need, super simple. It's you just finding the square footage. Square footage is two measurements, you know, square. So you wanna do length times width, or, you know, vice versa. <laughs> length, width, whatever you wanna do. But it's two measurements, front, side to side. So pretty simple to do. And then you get your square footage, then you come over here, you figure, all right, this is 45 and 45. You divide, figure out how much you need, then you divide once again to split it up into black and to white. But that's the actual product itself. And you can see, I'll pull one out here. It's super simple. It's legit just a peel and stick. See, it has the backing paper back here. You just peel that and you slap it right down. And again, a lot of people are gonna say, oh, this isn't gonna work, it's not gonna hold up. Yes, it is. It's held up perfectly fine. You can see it for yourself, it looks great. The only issues I have had is with installing like these little baseboards that are also made by Armstrong and they don't really stick 100%, but that's, I'm gonna leave that up to the adhesive on this isn't too great and it's going to a, a stucco textured kind of finish in here. So obviously uh, whenever a wall is textured, some stuff doesn't adhere to it as well as if it was like a smooth finish. So that's something completely irrelevant to this. The actual Armstrong product itself, 100%, I would recommend it to whoever wanted to go ahead and do this. All right, so I am gonna throw a disclaimer out there. I live in Florida, South Florida. It's constantly hot here. We never have cold winters. Our winters, you know, as cold as it gets is maybe, you know, mid 50s. So these tiles have never experienced a harsh winter. Now, if you live somewhere up north or out west where it gets cold, I could totally see how these tiles could become a little brittle and um, possibly crack or lift or anything like that. Now, again, I have no idea. I have no first world experience with that. I'm just giving you my opinion where if it does get cold, I could see how these could be an issue. But if your garage is insulated well, I can't see it being a big enough issue where the actual product's gonna fail. But if you live in a climate that's kind of like Florida, where it's hot, you don't get too cold of winters, you could totally throw this down. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick wash in this garage just because it's a little dirty. I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it. Super simple way, just hose it down, sweep it out with a big broom, and then clean it or dry it with a uh, leaf blower. And guys, just like that, super simple to clean. It's all said and done. It takes about five, 10 minutes, depending on how big your garage is to clean it. But as you can see, nice and clean right now. Uh, and a good thing as well is that this tile doesn't really get like super slippery. Now, again, you do want to be a little cautious with cleaning it, especially if you're using any sort of detergent or soap or anything. But for the most part, you can kind of see it has a little bit of a texture to it. So it's not like super slick. So yeah guys, I just wanted to kind of make a quick little update video for you guys kind of regarding this because like I was saying, this video has been trending a lot for me on my channel. It's summertime, DIY season. So if you're looking to uh, sprucing up your garage flooring and you're on a budget, you don't want to spend, you know, a few thousand dollars, this is the way to go. This costed me like I think 350 bucks, something like that. And a lot of times you can get this product on sale so uh, keep an eye out for that and super cheap, inexpensive way to completely change the look of your garage. Um, I've gone ahead and I've done a little bit of painting in here as well. I've done like the storage racks up here. I really want to do like the octagon or hexagon lighting system up on the roof or on the roof, on the ceiling and paint the ceiling. But uh, yeah, that's going to be later on. Uh, for now, I'm really liking the way the garage turned out. So yeah, guys, with that being said, super quick uh, video over here. I uh, just wanted to go ahead and, again, show you the garage. Now, don't get me wrong, we got some uh, cool videos for the TRX coming over here, so stay tuned. Got some uh, new uh, mods coming for it, so like and subscribe if you like uh, trucks and TRXs, and like and subscribe if you like, uh, you know, DIY projects, and like and subscribe if you like me.
So once again, guys, I'm Will. This is the Wimmy YouTube channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.